नमस्कार दिस इज मेहुल फ्रॉम फिल्टर कंसेप्ट वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट कवर मेजोरिटी ऑफ पैरामीटर व्हिच रिक्वायर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड वाइल इवैल्यूएटिंग द बेस्ट एडिक्वेट फिल्ट्रेशन सिस्टम फॉर लिक्विड फिल्ट्रेशन वी हैव वन इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर टू कवर एंड दैट इज फिल्ट्रेशन रेटिंग और वी कैन से माइक्रॉन रेटिंग एंड इट्स एफिशिएंसी so micron rating is something which define performance of a filter so if i have identify a filter to perform certain duty and if i have to claim its performance that can be identify with the help of a terminology called micron rating and its efficiency this two parameter micron rating and efficiency are working parallel to each other as i uh, discuss in our previous episodes we are talking about removal of suspended particles from fluid and we are going to discuss about particles starting from 0.01 micron to say 1000 micron now every media has a duty to retain the particle of stipulated micron rating and particles below that defined micron rating may pass through or may migrate that's that's very common understanding we have so now we say uh, you know uh, when we talk about any application there could be a filter used to remove suspended particles and to understand how effectively it is removing the uh, you know a particle one can use this terminology called efficiency so one is micron rating and second is efficiency that would define the performance of a filter how to understand this this two parameter trust me this is a bit technical subject and my expert friends from industry would would understand this importance that uh, you know it's not that easy to uh, to communicate uh, uh, you know in this platform but uh, to make it simple for a common audience i'll try to demonstrate or i'll try to Uh, explain in a way where i could communicate my message to them technically it has whole lot of arrangement to be made to select a performance of a filter they have different terminology different setup for uh, liquid filtration different terminology different setup for air filtration and same goes with the gas filtration here to to reach to common audience i am trying to give an example that micron rating is one thing which probably you 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 people are now aware of it and i am trying to address the efficiency so what happened that you know if i have a filter uh, which has got a filter medium inside and now i am passing water which has a contaminants available in it and uh, uh, they are the, the filter is defined to to remove that contaminants say for example this filter is defined to remove contaminants up to 5 micron so i have identified that i want the system requirement is of 5 micron filtration and this filter has to remove particle up to 5 micron obviously that if this water has a particle of a finer size below say 5 micron they are definitely going to pass through that medium but now particle up to 5 micron will retain on that medium but to what extent they retain that would identify as its efficiency if i am saying that the filter medium is retaining 
99.999 percentage of five micron particles. So, in that case, this filter would define as filter designed to remove particle up to 5 micron at an efficiency of 99.999 percentage. So, this filter is absolutely retaining particle up to 5 micron. There is a possibility of 0 0.001 percentage of particle up to 5 micron may migrate. So, that is that is what filtration rating and its efficiency work parallelly. Say for example, uh, I have a particle uh, available in the same water and the filter is retaining say 90 percent particle and 10 percent are migrating through it. I am talking about that 5 micron particle only. In that case, this filter would define as 5 micron at 90 percent efficiency. So, this is a common terminology to understand micron and its efficiency. If you see the industry, uh, there are certain high end applications like pharmaceutical, food beverages, refinery, in power plant as well. So, they are very clear about their requirement and that is that's pretty much uh, aware to the industry, to the user that they should have this efficiency of the filter and that is how filters are designed for. So, I am sure that uh, the message is, is you know uh, clear at, at the user end or to the audience that uh, how to understand micron rating and its efficiency. We will try to discuss about how to identify this parameter, how to evaluate a filter performance, its micron rating, its efficiency for different fluid in our uh, next series or maybe episode after 10th episode, wherein we will talk about the technicality of this subject, where we will discuss about what is beta ratio, what is uh, efficiency, what is filtration rating and, and micron rating and uh, we will understand the various procedure used for a different fluid and what are the filtration class available to evaluate them. So, I think uh, this is uh, this is it for uh, the micron rating and efficiency part. So, uh, we have covered uh, all required 10 parameters to understand the basic functionality or to understand evaluation process of right filtration solution for a liquid filtration requirement. We are left with very important parameter uh, is differential pressure. Differential pressure is something which contribute largely in terms of selecting filter system or a filter consumable or filter element. Differential pressure is something uh, we analyzed or we define as inlet pressure minus outlet pressure. This can be uh, you know uh, one can install two pressure gauges, one at inlet, one at outlet of a filtration system and take a difference of it or alternatively there are differential pressure gauges available or differential pressure transmitter available which can give you a digital uh, value of a differential pressure. Differential pressure is an important parameter while designing your filtration system. So, one thing is, is clear like you know your inlet pressure minus outlet pressure is your differential pressure and differential pressure would contribute in terms of identifying the lifespan of a filter because whenever a manufacturer would 
would release its product for market, they will have to specify what would be the clean pressure drop of the filter with respect to water of course, because they are going to perform that test with, with respect to water. So, what would be the clean pressure drop across the filter, what would be the recommended change out and what would be the collapsible pressure drop across the filter. Now, to, to understand these three parameter, when we say clean pressure drop, so without having a contaminant load, if we are talking about uh, a clear liquid and if the filter is exposed to that fluid, that would define as your clean pressure drop. Recommended change out, the word itself says that this is a limit when you should replace your filter and collapsible limit or a collapsible uh, differential pressure which says that at this particular differential pressure your filter is, is probably get collapse. So, these are the classification of differential pressure of a filter. This can be measured in kg per cm square or bar or kPa, kilopascal or, or pascal or mm water column for that matter. So, uh, I think we have understood a lot about liquid filtration part. Our next episode would be focusing on air filtration. We will try to understand how liquid filtration and air filtration are different in terms of performing their duties and uh, we will try to cover air filtration in detail for next few episode. Till then, thank you so much for your lovely support so far and encouraging us with your amazing comments and your constant engagement on our various episodes. Thank you so much.